Hello, and welcome to another edition of Darth Vader is Your Father. I'm your host, James Light Jr. Here's Darth. Hi, everybody. Today, I'm here in Los Angeles, and it's a little windy today, actually. So hopefully, everything will be okay, but it's, like, windy. And I'm glad to be back. I uh, said so this is a show that's a Star Wars-based um, just show. I talk about random things that do with Star Wars and a lot of Darth Vader stuff. Vader is coming, wearing my shirt, of course. Um, but I haven't done an episode in a couple of weeks. Um, but thanks for watching the two episodes I put out. And I'll put up more out. But I have a couple of announcements, and we're going to talk about some things, as you saw the title today. Um, number one, you can find this on YouTube at JLJ Media. And if you listen to the audio version, go to any streaming service, like from Spotify to Google, iHeartRadio. Go to Dark Vader is Your Father or JLJ Media, and you'll find it. And go ahead and like, subscribe, and follow, and share with all the other Star Wars army and nation. I want to tell you, some people are asking me, um, about other Star Wars stuff. So yes, I have kind of another Star Wars show in the works. I'm still working on that one. But the one that will be coming to JLJ Media is The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. We just saw her today that it's coming out on the 30th. So it's like, I'm very excited of October. So I'm very excited. I can't wait season two. I have my Disney Plus. I am ready to go. If you haven't been watching, um, the uh, behind the scenes stuff from last season, go to Disney Plus and watch that. But I will be doing it with some friends of yours you've known if you watch the popcorn talk show. So it's one time I'm just getting a little teaser there. And some folks it won't be just me by myself. I have folks gonna do it with me. And um, we're gonna have some fun like we always do. And uh, if a trailer comes out, whatever, just stay tuned. JLJ Media, subscribe everywhere and watch this channel, watch this show too, and we'll let you know. But the Mandalorian's coming back, and I'll be doing a Mandalorian after show, which means I will review. Uh, with two other people, or three other people, I don't know who it is, um, the episodes. We're going to break down each episode, talk about it, and do behind-the-scenes stuff and extras. So I'm very excited about that. But the announcement today is that it's coming out. I'm excited. Uh, but once again, so say hi. He's like, he's saying hello. I wish I could showcase him somewhere. I don't even have some. I guess I'll stay here. Um, can you go there? No, it's still too low. As well. he'll, just, he'll sit next to me. He's here with me. Okay. Um, so you saw the title of this. I've been doing this thing on TikTok where I've been saying, um, giving my, my quick thoughts, because you only do under a minute, uh, thoughts on each of the Star Wars films. So I've done the first six on TikTok. Go to jail, James Lott Jr. and watch those. Now I'm going to start doing the last three on here. I might show these on TikTok too, but this is on, on here. And these are my three wins, one fail. Oh, excuse me. Three wins, two fails on... The Force Awakens, Episode 7. So these are three things I liked and two things I didn't care for. And I want you to please tell me how you feel. Tell you, Comment below. Let me know what's going on. Let me know how you feel about stuff. So that's good. So we're going to start with the good stuff first. The one of three wins for me is seeing the old gang. Seeing uh, Princess Leia and Han Solo. Seeing, seeing Harrison Ford and Han Solo again, which is like amazing. And Chewie and C-3PO and R2-D2. Um, seeing that whole gang show up in ways that made sense was wonderful. And even at the end, seeing Mark Hamill as Luke, it just was, for the nostalgia person for me, the person who's from the beginning, who's of that age group, who watched Star Wars in live when it first came out in 77, it just, it was all for me. It was everything to me. Um, number two. The intros of Ray, Finn, and Poe. Actually, I thought they're they're strong characters. We knew these would probably be the characters for the next trilogy. Um, strong female, I mean female lead, especially when you come folks. So we had a strong female, we had a strong black man. I mean, all and all, but all three of them I thought did great jobs acting. Um, they said a good story for each of them. Um, it kept me, it got me interested because each trilogy starts, you kind of get interested because you know there's gonna be two more after this to get interested, and I got interested. I want to see what's going to happen with those characters. Of course, I always hoped that Ray was a was a sky was a like Luke's daughter or something, but it didn't didn't work out that way. But that's another story. Number three, Adam Driver, which I knew from Girls and a few other things he did, and he was great on those shows and in everything. But as as Kylo Ren, I thought, okay, it was a big, interesting character, interesting story. Um, it linked, you know, Leia and and Han Solo together because that's, that's their child. Uh, but I thought he did a great job acting wise. I know he got a lot of accolades for it, but I was like, oh, okay. I was like, okay, Adam Driver. I believed it. I was believing it. We got to, you have to believe this. You have to go into believe it. So I was in. 
So I had no problem with him being in it. I was looking forward to see what he was going to do the next couple of sh- a couple of um, movies. And so, so I think I think I think his acting was pretty good in all three films. Um, we were talking about the first one, of course, this trilogy. So that one that was good. Now for my two fails. One. So 30 years after the Galactic Empire, you know, it's the whole Civil War thing happened. It was supposed to be peace in the land. It would be really good. But, but 30 years later, it isn't. So now the First Order has risen, and now you got to fight again. I'm like, oh, that was really a good ending back then. I'm like, what happened? I guess things like that happened. But I thought all that history was kind of like thrown out a little bit. I don't know. Just kind of didn't like that part. But I guess they had to make a story so they can get us going to the next thing. They had to have fighting and stuff. So that was it. And two, kind of killing his father. The death of Han Solo. Why are you going to kill Han Solo? He's a major character. I would have loved to have seen him in a trilogy. And I would have loved to have seen him longer. And I thought, I thought the scenes he had, the scene, the scene he had with Leia was nice. I wish there had been a scene between Leia. This could be a third fail, I guess. Leia, Luke and Han Solo together. I wish we could have had that. We didn't have that really in this film. Um, so, because I know they're saving Luke to the end, but it's like, oh, I wish they could have, we had them together. It could have been nice. But I didn't want, I didn't want him dying. Why did to kill him? It's Han Solo. So that's my three wins, two fails, two and a half fails, three fails uh, for Force Awakens episode seven. I did like the film. I saw it twice, three times, I think. I liked it. Uh, and so it was, otherwise, I was interested in seeing what was going to happen next. The films. I will, someone's asking me, well, I do Rogue One and Solo. I will do those two. So those are going to be up next, probably on this show too. I think that's it. I just, this is really quick. It's like a little quick hello. Welcome to the podcast. If you want to see anything on here that's Star Wars related, just let me know. I have a bunch of things planned. I have a Christmas show planned because Star Wars went Christmas at one point. I'm going to explain all that. Uh, that'll be coming later this year. And I'm also trying to get guests on the show from the Star Wars universe and then talks. So that's the Star Wars stuff we have. Like so I said, this show is going to be happening. This is kind of the random show. I have another show in production, kind of a more concentrated Star Wars show. And then the Mandalorian after show will be coming here in, in, at the end of October, early November. So we got some Star Wars universe stuff happening. I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. Um, but thank you everybody for watching. Thank you everybody for listening. Please be safe out there. May the force be with you.